Alright, so, um, welcome back to Into the Infinity Verse. Uh, here once again to talk about another aspect of the Infinity Verse, the shared fanfiction universe that uh, myself and my friend Jason Voorhees 2011 work on together. And uh, today we're going to be talking about, um, I wouldn't say so much a character, but more like an element of the Infinity Verse. And it's something that, yes, it does come from the, it is inspired by the DC Universe. Um, but yeah, a lot of the stuff is inspired by comics in our, in the Infinity Verse, so it does, it, so yeah, it just kind of makes sense. And that, as you can see, is the green. So the green, for those who don't know, uh, the green in DC Comics is the elemental force that governs all plant life in the universe. The big thing with Swamp Thing and also with Poison Ivy. Um, so yeah, we've got the green, which is connected to plant life, and it's governed by the Parliament of Trees. Although the Parliament of Trees is gone right now in DC Comics. There's the Parliament of Mushrooms, Fungus. There's Parliament for everything now in the plant in plant life. So, um, in this continuity, in the Infinity Verse, there is also a... There is also the green, but it's not just connected to one Earth. It's connected to the multiverse. It's basically in this version of the green. The green is connected to all plant life in the multiverse. So... It's also connected to other plant life cre plant like creatures in the infinity verse and also people who can commune commune with the green um, so there is that so there is a parliament of trees which is a little different from you know from the swamp thing comics where the parliament of trees in the infinity verse is literally like a bunch of tr different trees like an elm tree a pine tree a redwood tree and they all like talk among themselves and um, they do have a champion, or rather they did and they have a new champion. So the previous champion was Undergrowth from, of course, one of Danny Phantom's enemies. Of course, Mark Hamill voiced him. Um, Undergrowth, in our continuity, Undergrowth was the previous champion of the Green. And he actually was really good at his job for centuries. Uh, basically, he was guarding all of life, of plant life. But as the, year, as the centuries rolled on, he became more and more psychotic. He became more psychotic because mankind was becoming more and more, like, taking more and more of plant life. Like, as the years rolled on, mankind got shittier and shittier to the earth, and undergrowth in response became more and more extreme. So undergrowth, that was, of course, that was our idea for this version of, un you know, undergrowth's backstory, because we never got one in Danny Phantom, so it's like, yeah, uh, undergrowth was a champion of the green, who went nuts. So... In a spotlight story, we basically, I, uh, this was the one I wrote. So I wrote basically, uh, and I, as always, before I write anything, Jason and I, before we write anything, we run past each other of what the ideas are. And like, yeah, we're both writing this. We both have equal say in this. So I ran all this by Jason. He thought it, he was, and he thought it was all cool. So basically in this spotlight, uh, Sam, man, uh, Sam, of course, Danny's girlfriend, um, you know, local goth, uh, Sam basically... Uh, became the new became cho uh, became the new champion of the green in the Infinity Verse. Um, the Parliament of Trees reached out to her and told her, "Look, Undergrowth ain't doing it any uh, doing it for us anymore. He's become too dangerous. He's becoming a liability. We need someone who understands the gr we. Our mistake was we picked someone who." basically just all was all for plants. We never really took into the human element. So with Sam, it's like, yeah, you were human. You're human. So you understand what mankind is like, and maybe you can speak to better, the, uh, understand them better than Undergrowth can. So Sam became the new champion of the green. She became the new mother of the... She became the new champion of the green. Her body was changed into a more plant-like being. And not only that, she managed to stop Undergrowth, and all, but also she more or less just unmade him, but then found his seeds and grew him back and is now raising a child version of Undergrowth as, like, her adopted son out in, the, in Louisiana. So Sam is basically now the protector of the green and also can commune with all plant life on the, on the Earth. She can even um, communicate with all plant life in the, mul in the multiverse. Before we talk about some other characters in the multiverse that can commune with the green, um... Let's talk about some characters who, in our Earth, can speak to the green. So, of course, you had Undergrowth and now Sam, who is also, I forgot to mention, not a member of the Infinity Verse. 
uh, of the Infinity League. See, she's not a member of the Infinity League because her duties to the Green are a bit too much, so she's got to protect the Green and not be part of the League. But we are, but she is going to be part of a team later on down the road. Um, anyway, so in here, the uh, the other characters that are con connected to the Green are of course are. Um, Tendril from the Inhumanoids. The Redwoods are as well, also from Inhumanoids. Um, uh, Snakeweed from t uh, Ninja Turtles. And Biolante. Yeah, Biolante is also connected to the green because of her connection to plant life. So Biolante is also, a connect is also connected to the green, as were the other ones mentioned. So, in the multiverse, there are other characters who are connected to all plant life as well. And, of course, we... So, here are the three, the three major ones. Uh, you have Moss Man from He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. So, yeah, Moss Man is connected to the, to the green. And then we have Perfuma from She-Ra. So yeah, She-Ra, Princesses of Power, so Perfuma is a connected to the green, and you probably guessed who the other one was. And that, of course, is uh, Willow from Owl House. She's also, a connect she's also connected to the green um, as well. So they can all commune through the green. They don't know they can do this yet, but there will be, like, I'm hoping to write a story soon, once I have time, to write, like, how, they're all how they all find out they're connected to the green. Um, so there's that. Now... There is also, of course, if you are a Swamp Thing or just DC Comics fan in general, you already know that there are two other elements within that also co uh, coincide with the green, and that is the red and the rot. So, for the red, we don't have a champion for the red yet, but we have decided who it is. We don't, we haven't introduced them yet, but there is a. We've already Jason already uh, Jason said, "Hey, how about this person for the for champion of the red?" And we were like, "Yeah, that person would be perfect." So there is going to be someone who is a champion of the red. Who, for those who don't know, the red is connection to, is the elemental force that connects all animal life on Earth. So there is the red. So there is going to be a champion of the red. I will say that there are like there are other champ there are, are other people out there who are connected to the red. Um. There is, but I don't want to spoil who those other people in the multiverse are connected to the red are, be, probably because there is one in mind. I need to run it by Jason um, and and tell them and tell him uh, who the, who it is, who I think should be this person in the multiverse connected to the red. Um, anyway, so that just leaves the rot. So the rot is just death and decay in in this elemental force it's literally just death and decay and the enemy of both the green and the red so the rot is just this dark sinister force that is just this all-consuming it's like the black lanterns really it's like the it's literally like the black lanterns so there is going to be a champion of the rot and i we were thinking about one character but there is another character um, that we were like, yeah, that character, like, like, I've been thinking, like, maybe pitching this to Jason. I need to run this by him soon. Um, but basically this idea I had of this other character who we have kind of established, but he hasn't really done anything because I hate him. You probably guessed who that was already. Not gonna say it out loud, but some of you die. Some of you guys who have been here for a while probably know if I real, uh, I have a vehement hate for this character. It's only one character I vehemently hate. Um, uh, well, one of two characters I vehemently hate. But yeah, that character is going to have a little bit more presence. And I was like, yeah. And the way they're going to be written soon, like, why wouldn't they be champion of the, like, the Avatar of the Rod? So, yeah, I'm going to run it by, J I need to run it by Jason. I feel bad whenever I, like, have these ideas out there and I do these videos first before talking to Jason. I feel bad because it's like my brain's like, Oh yeah, I need. I still need to talk to Jason about that. I should have done that before this. I hate doing. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. Uh, and I need to stop doing that. So, anyway, so yeah, we've got stuff for the uh, green, the red, the rot, and when those more of those characters come out, we'll, I'll probably do more videos talking about them. 
But for right now, you guys tell me in the comments below, what did you guys think of all of this? Do you guys like it, hate it? Comment below, let me know. And once again, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.